there is not a soul who does not know of Marth, Hero King, and Savior. But there are few who know that person. Marth fought valiantly in battle, with many renowned heroes by his side, as well as that person. That person was Marth's confidant and friend, a shadow who aided Marth's victories. History books hold no record of this hero of shadow, the other protagonist of the War of Heroes. Their name was... Fire Emblem 12, New Mystery of the Emblem, Heroes of Light and Shadow. But please, Fire Emblem 12, New Mystery of the Emblem, Heroes of Light and Shadow is my father's name. You can call me Fire Emblem, New Mystery of the Emblem. Whew, bet you didn't think I'd do that joke again. So, this is a remake of Book 2 of Mystery of the Emblem, the third game in the Fire Emblem series, and the first one on SNES. It's the second tale of Marth, and unfortunately, after Shadow Dragon didn't do too well, it was Japan only. However, Fire Emblem 12 is also very much a precursor to Fire Emblem Awakening. For example, here we have Lunatic difficulty. This is the first time that specific difficulty showed up, and it's remained as Lunatic since then. Next off, we have Casual and Classic mode. Uh, in this game, Choosing one only uh, changes whether or not characters perma die. There are mid-battle saves, but it doesn't matter if you choose casual or classic. You get those either way. Most importantly, however, this game had the original version of the Avatar, or as it's called in this game, My Units. The default name of the Avatar... Or, I'm gonna have to get call, used to calling it My Unit again. Uh, the default name is Chris, but we're going to go with Iris. Now, unfortunately, uh, this game is uh, very much the prototype to uh, the Avatar in that there are a lot of classes locked to gender, which is dumb and bad. Uh, we are going to go over the Avatar in full. We're going to go over My Unit in full in just a minute. Uh, first, we're just gonna do a quick uh, run-through of actually building Iris. She is going to be a Myrmidon, and by the way, uh, depending on what you choose as your starting class will actually change what outfit you wear. Uh, there is a class change in this game, so if you'd prefer an outfit, I guess you could just go with, you know, whatever you think looks best and then change into what you want later, but I don't know, it's your life. I'm not making your avatar for you. So, I guess the best part about this game's My Unit is probably customization options. It is actually fairly varied. Uh, you do get quite a few options here. And now the dumb part. So, this is how you determine stats. Can you guess what actually determines what? I bet you can't. Uh, we're going to go with Noble Child, Wisdom, and Recluse. So, that's the final option. Future Me can now go over my unit in detail. So, starting off with class selection, Male My Unit can be a Mercenary, Knight, Cavalier, Fighter, Archer, or a Mage. Female My Unit can be a Myrmidon, Pegasus Knight, Cavalier, Archer, or Mage. In addition, they can also be a Cleric, however, you can't do that until you unlock the ability to class change, because your My Unit does need to fight in the Prologue. Therefore, they'd kind of be dead in the water if they started as a Cleric. And after classes, the next thing that determines stats is Fortune. So, uh, yeah, you see this big old table? I mean, I joked about it in the video, but, um... This is the most obscure way to figure out your stats, in that without a guide, you have no way of knowing what stat boosts and growth rates you're actually giving yourself. The Boon and Bane thing that Awakening introduced is a lot better, and even Fates is better than this one in that Although it decided to just not call their 
stats by their name, at least it still makes more sense than this. It's just a little confusing unless you really know Fire Emblem stats in Fates' case. Here though, yeah, uh, hopefully the backstory you choose for your character matches the stats you want for them. So, the past mostly determines what stat bonuses you get for your starting stats, though it also gives you a bit of growth rate as well. Present is a little more even, giving you a small boost to stat bonuses and a slightly larger boost to growth rates. And future only determines growth rates. You might have also noticed that after each choice, the next one had one fewer choice, and that's because you can't overlap your stats. Uh, for example, if you choose Merchant's Child, you can't choose Wise, and then you can't choose Rich, because all of those give luck and resistance bonuses, so... Yeah, make sure to look up this chart if you're a min-maxer. I'm not, but even still, this is kind of dumb. <laughs> no matter whether or not you're a min-maxer, it's just dumb and bad, and I don't know why they did it like this. Boon and Bane is so much better. But, with that being said, let's take a look and see how Iris came out. Yeah, I know, bad Photoshop, job on the hair, whatever. So, this is how Iris turned out. A very high starting skill and speed. I don't think anyone's going to match her. Uh, that being said, though, uh, slightly odd growth rates for a Myrmidon. Uh, she's got some pretty high luck skill and speed, though lower skill and speed than you would expect from a Myrmidon, and probably higher strength? I mean, it's 50%, so it's average, but, you know. Some Myrmidons have had lower, and of course her HP is also pretty darn good. And, quite frankly, you might think 10% resistance is bad, while New Mystery of the Emblem certainly improves a lot of characters' resistance growth rates, 10% is still actually rather good. But we won't dwell on Iris too long because we're about to see her in action. Take it away, past me. And I'm sure Future Me is done by now. If not, I'm very worried. Now I'm a loiterer. I'm sticking it to the man just by hanging out. Oh, look at all these generic sprites, jeez. Huh, that's weird. I'm suddenly very angry and I don't know why. Ah well, it's probably nothing. And they were never seen again. Well, I'd imagine Jagan would actually stay in the front hall where everyone else- No? Okay. Apparently those two dinguses had the right idea. A hundred men and women, they're just off-screen. We decided to take the least impressive of all you. Wait, was I s supposed to train before this? Oh god, I'm not prepared. I'm level one, and I'm at zero XP. Oh god, oh man, oh god, oh man! Uh, excuse me, Katarina, strategists can definitely fight and they're pretty good. You just have to wait a game for both your strength and magic stat to actually matter in the same unit at the same time. Well, good luck to that cleric over there. Alright, so, welcome to what is probably the most boring tutorial map in the entire series, which is impressive, because there have been some dull ones, like the one in Seven. 
Of course, to be fair, this one moves a lot faster than the one in 7, so I guess it's got that going for it. At least it knows you want it over with. So this is simple enough. Uh, this entire chapter is basically just balanced so that you can't really die unless you fuck up real bad. Everyone's stats should be just adjusted enough so that as long as you pay attention and... Well, you don't have a vulnerary, so it's not like you can use one at the right time, but I mean, you know, um... I guess just don't stand one space away from Jagan and take a hit for no reason? I guess don't have that bad idea? And see, we just have enough to finish him off. Wait, why, why did you ask that as a question? Did you not expect anyone to beat you? Altia has no need of knights. We're just gonna beat the crap out of a whole lot of kids. For no reason. We're just getting all your hopes up. Wait, somebody won? Oh, fuck. Now we actually have to prepare a program. Damn it. This is just Jagan's plan to mess with the youth. And we foiled it. Everyone who passed the test? You mean... everyone? Ah yes, the wild marth. A marth can be observed grazing in his natural habitats. Look at him, gently eat the grass, and drink from the stream, and sparkle like the beautiful, beautiful man he is. I'm glad we're not getting kicked out for that, otherwise this would be a very short game. Fire Emblem can't happen because you talked during the audition. Good job, idiot. Unless you fail, in which case, I guess I'll never see you again. <laughs> 